God tells Moses he will free the Jewish people from Egypt. What happens next? The situation gets worse. Pharaoh makes their suffering even more unbearable. What's going on? I want to share a true story. Yitzchak Slutsky was 16 when his family was murdered by the Nazis. He and his sister hid in a cellar. Returning one day from getting food, Yitzchak found his sister missing, taken to the Nazi headquarters. Bursting into their building, Yitzchak began screaming, Bring me my sister! I'll give you your sister, the satistic Nazi mocked, if you show me hair growing on your palm. Yitzchak held out his hand and the commander nearly fainted. There was hair on the palm of his hand. Get him and his sister out of here, the Nazi shouted. Yitzchak and his sister survived the war. What happened? Nine years earlier, Yitzchak's hand was badly hurt. In the hospital, they grafted skin. The transplanted skin grew hair, and for years, Yitzchak suffered and was mocked because of his odd hand. We can't fathom God's ways or how something negative can benefit us. But once in a while, the heavenly curtain parts and we are granted understanding. For the Jewish people in Egypt and for Yitzchak Slutsky and for so many of us nowadays, that may only happen years later. But God is bigger than our little minds.